Hi, I'm Sam with Rising Tide and I handle a lot of our documentation consulting. That might mean items around best practices or specific implementation to your business. But in this case for the video, I'm going to show you the asset templates that we import and how that's actually done. We do so by bringing in a PowerShell script, importing our existing templates and make sure that day one, your instance already has those ready to go. So you can immediately start documenting. So let's switch over and I'll show you exactly how that process is done. This is the script that we'll use to bring in those templates. And before I can do that, I need to make sure I have a couple things on hand. Most importantly, the actual file itself that we use to import those templates and also a couple other items around our API. So I'm going to install the Hudu API module right here and then also grab the URL and my key. With the module installed, I can now add my new base URL, and then I'm going to add my API key, which I have here. With these two connected, I'm going to double check that this API key is properly connected to my instance. So I'm going to do a very basic get call. So that way I have specific information pulling from my actual Hoodoo instance. I'm going to hit clear just to get that all brought out. And then I'm going to run the script. There's nothing else I actually need to change on the script. If you are running it for the first time, hypothetically, the install will be required instead of an import, just because the import Excel module might not be already on your system. But going back over, now I need my file here, which I'm just gonna click, copy path and paste that into my terminal. I'm gonna remove the quotes around it because if I leave those around, it will pull an error code. That's not exactly what I'm looking for right now. With this set and done, we're going to bring in all of those assets that we've created inside the template. We can see here it's bringing in the other format, the folder IDs, anything else connected that we have in here originally, and the fields and field types. With that script done, we should go into our Hoodoo instance and see what those asset layouts look like. In my admin tab here, and then asset layouts, here are all of those brought in. You'll notice a handful of these are active versus the other. The template is going to bring in those asset layouts as inactive. So that's how you can tell that this all worked. We have those inactive templates brought in in bulk. In this case, if I go into applications, if I want to get started, I can hit activate. But you'll notice that we have all the unique field types, whether or not a certain field will show in list. So that way we can highlight certain information for you already. Again, reducing that manual work on your side when starting with Hoodoo. We can still reorganize and change anything we need, of course. So if modifications are needed or we want to customize some folders, that option will be fully available to you. So that wraps up how we implement those templates. If you have any more questions around this video, please feel free to comment down below. And if you have other recommendations or questions around Hoodoo and documentation, please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to talk about that subject and even expand on this existing content. Thank you, everyone.